Hi guys, um, I've come on to show you very quickly um, this card that I made. So it, this is just a very quick project share. Um, I've got to get this in the post today, so unfortunately I didn't have time to do a craft with me um, with this one. Um, but it's very similar to the other cards that I have been making of late. So it is a um, craft print digi kit. Oh, I'm knocking the camera. I'm trying to film this really awkwardly around my camera mount into my photography box because my desk is such a tip that um, it doesn't make for a very pretty backdrop but I haven't got time to um, clean it just now so um, I'm making do and this is my uh, make do amend so it might be a bit wobbly but we'll do our best. So yes this was a craft you print digi kit um, and obviously you printed off the various layers and fussy cut um, all of the elements out. So there was the backing sheet which is this um, sort of purpley mauvey coloured sheet here um, and then this is one layer, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six layers popping up on this card which makes it really quite sort of super dimensional as you can see just down on the roses here. Um, so yeah, I cut each layer out, um, I have then edged, inked around all of the edges of all of them um, with a little bit of vintage photo just so that the raw white edges are gone. Um, I have gone over certain elements with a little bit of Wink of Stella, which you can just see there, or the, the Crafter's Companion version of that. Um, just on the roses in the front there and, and a little bit on the blue flowers in the background. I have popped a little bit of glossy accents um, as a sort of bead on their eyes to make their eyes a bit more prominent. And then I just painted a very thin layer onto the beaks. And that just gives the beaks just a little bit of glistening, just a little bit of glisten and shine like the beaks would be. But it, it isn't 3D, like if you just squeeze the... Um, the glossy accents on. Um, down the bottom on here these these little squares there popped up as well and then I found these in my stash. Now these um, silver bits are actually it comes on a trim it's a long trim of um, just the silver sort of um, starburst effect thing and all I've done is cut three of them off and then in the center I've just mounted a little flat back um, pearl and you can see there. So the plastics are the nice and lightweight, um, but they do give quite a nice sort of blingy effect, which I really like. Um, and then I've made a couple of banners. So this one here with the happy birthday, I've cut the happy birthday out of silver cardstock. And that is actually um, one of those dies that it cuts into the paper. So you can, um, you can either use it as a topper or you can... Um, you, you can sort of cut it um, as the top of a, a layer that tucks behind something. Um, all I've done is I've cut it and then I've just trimmed it really, really fine along the bottom. So you've got this, the silver line along the bottom there. And then I've mounted that onto a banner. I've then cut another couple of the banners here. Um, um, and I've cut these in like a cream cardstock, an ivory cardstock. Again, I've distressed them around the edges with a little bit of um, vintage photo. And then I've put Gigi down the side there because that's what we call our grandma because she, um, she's always been grandma to us. But when me and my sister had children, um, obviously she became a great grandma. Um, but she's a very glamorous lady, is my grandma. Um, and she didn't like the idea of being great grandma because that sounded like a little old lady. So we decided to call her Gigi instead. Um, so yeah, that's why it says Gigi down the side. Um, I've then mounted all of that onto um, a frame of silver cardstock. And I've done the same thing that I've done on a few others. I've cut the mat and then I've cut the majority of the inside of that mat away to take away some of the bulk and to preserve um, some of the silver cardstock, which is then obviously I've been able to cut um, the words and things with the scraps. And then I've layered it all on a piece of um, coordinating scrapbooking paper that I had in my stash, which you can see um, on the inside as well. Yeah, try and get it so that there's no glare. Um, so that's the coordinating scrapbooking paper. So I've, I've done another layer of it on the inside. And then I've stamped and heat embossed with silver embossing powder so that it matches the um, silver... Um, colour scheme on the front of the card and these are just stamps that have come in um, magazine um, what's it called um, creative stamping um, I used to subscribe so this little one and the flower up in the top came from an old set from quite a long time ago um, but the happy birthday is actually from the most current one because I really liked the set which I have actually got in front of me on the desk so I can show it to you 
Um, so this is, I'm going to struggle to get this in front of the camera, but I will do my very best. So that's the one that's out just now. It's by Pinkfresh Studio um, and it's got some really beautiful um, sort of sketchy flowers and sort of floral displays, which I thought they'd be really pretty coloured up or um, watercoloured or whatever, and then cut out to use as um, just um, sort of floral elements, really, in... Um, you know, use them as ephemera and stuff so that's my intention and then this is the other set that I use but like I say this is quite an old one now um, so that one there um, but that's that one's quite an old set um, you, you do sometimes see them on like um, cross selling sites um, and you can sometimes get them on eBay and places like that um, but yeah like I say I've got, I've got tons of them so I, I do use those quite a lot um, and then I just finished it off with a few flat back pearls here, there and everywhere, just wherever I thought it would look pretty. Um, and I've just put my um, my little card thing on the back. Um, and then I will get this written up and popped in with her present to send off today. Um, she lives, unfortunately, at the other side of the country to me. I'm in, well, I'm in the Midlands and she's down in... Um, She's down in Devon. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't get to see her as much as I would like. Um, and I need to just make sure that this is going to get there on time. And with all the floods that we've had, um, I can't afford for this to be um, going in the post the day before. So I'm going to post it today. So I hope you enjoyed a very quick whistle stop um, look at the card that I created for my Gigi. Um, and I will be back on very soon with some more cards. I've got a few other cards that I need to create this month. Um, and obviously I've got some more of my collaboration and design teamwork coming up very, very soon. So see you then. Bye for now.